Okay, so a very long time ago, by that I mean only about uh, two years ago, I made a video where I destroyed Windows 8.1 Embedded Industry Pro. And guess what I have here? A corrupted version of Windows 8.1 Embedded Industry Pro. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fix it to restore it to the shape to the shape it was in before I um, destroyed it before this video because I wanted to just make sure that this operating system was not indestructible. <clears throat> so I decided, so I'm decided I'm going to go with a more um, a different approach because in the last video I just deleted a bunch of files and then called that a day. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a more um, what's it called a more um, a verbose. No, what's the word I'm looking for? A more uh. This is very slow, by the way, probably because my actual computer is very slow. What's the word I'm looking for? A very a more planned out approach to destroying Windows 8.1 Embedded Industry Pro. So firstly, what I'm going to... Oh, okay. Firstly, I'm going to go and go on to a very good, a very secure and legit website. So firstly, let's use the world's greatest browser. Um, okay, and we're gonna save it, pin it to my taskbar because I don't have Firefox installed, so I have to use this. And no, I'm not using Chrome, even though I used to use Chrome before I switched to GNU plus Linux. <clears throat> so here's, um, Internet Explorer. So let's go and download something. Um, let's go to, um, a slightly well-known website wait um let's go to uh, uh my computer is slow help me okay and then i'm going to click on all of the no actually no go back and then i'm going to okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click on all of the ads and download all of the software actually no avast is legit so no Let's download all of this shady software. Um, so let's download all of this weird software. Firstly, this one. Uh, when you have a trademark sign next to a very generic phrase, you know there's something wrong. And it crashed. Internet Explorer crashed. And it seems to still be working, honestly. Hello, it's Stan from top10bestsoftware.org. If you found this page, you're most what? likely having issues with the speed on your computer and are looking to clean and repair a lot of issues that you may be experiencing. What? Basically, you want your computer to run like new again. No, I just I know I want to infect this computer with a bunch of pups. Actually, no, this isn't malware. These are all legit programs, although they're not necessarily the best. And also, um, fun fact, one time I installed AVG on my Windows, I think it was actually Windows 7 at the time, computer. And it permanently bricked my computer and I had to reinstall Windows. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> so let's download this sketchy software. I literally just downloaded it, so let's install it. Okay, here's the shady software. Let's run it. Okay, so I have the shady software right here. Let's start a scan. Okay. Okay, I don't know what this shady software is actually doing, because it's not really doing much, is all I know. Okay, I'm gonna also download this other shade. No, this isn't actually a shady software, because it's not, it doesn't have a link to download anything. What's that logo? Okay, um, this looks more like a paid service than a than a malicious program to download.
MS Office cache. I don't have Microsoft Office installed. Actually, that gives me an idea. Maybe I could go to try to download a cracked version of Microsoft Office, but not actually download it. So I can um so that so if I go to that go to a website like that, I will eventually I will inevitably see a bunch of ads to download free toolbars, and I'm gonna click on those ads and then destroy this computer. Not exactly. Um. So what we have downloaded um. <clears throat> chat history I mean if it has zero megabytes why do you even add that to the list I've never used Skype or any other spyware program on this computer so yeah so what is this um, quote unquote malicious files on my computer okay let's just delete all oh of course I have to do this maybe I could try to download a um, cracked version of this software and then on this website where I'm going to find it, I'll be able to, um, you know, um, download and more viruses. My clean PC. This one is iconic. I doubt any of those organizations actually even know what the software is. Let's, let's run this shady software. Uh, it crashed again. <laughs> Re 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 the download and download it. It's not downloading. Okay, so maybe this shady software just isn't compatible. Well, actually, now it's downloading. So PC cleaner. Um, let's download some. Let's see what we got here. This this is download.com, and you know what? You know something about download.com? There's gonna be a lot of, um, let's just say below average stuff on the on here on this um website. <coughs> Except some of these actually seem seem legit, so I'm gonna go back. Here, this looks like a very good website. Okay. There are no ads on this website, though. I'm looking for ads that I can click on. Maybe, like... <sighs> a Bitcoin address. It's, um... It's, this is a Bitcoin address, so let's go to, um... Bitcoin... Uh... Download Bitcoin mining malware download. Let's download Bitcoin Miner. Download a Bitcoin Miner for no for absolutely no reason. BTCMiner.net. Please stop crashing. Are there no are there any ads? Nope. <clears throat> FreeDownloadManager.org. That sounds like a good website that would have a lot of ads. Here, that's an ad. For a driver update. Seriously? You know what? I'm just gonna... Chromium... Chrome download. I'm going to download Chrome. Despite the fact that it's closed source malware. <clears throat> I'm going to download it because anything is better than Internet Explorer 8. open my clean PC which is a very 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 secure software yeah I, don't, uh, yeah I doubt it would scan that quickly 
tracking records. I mean, I just went to Google, so it kind of makes sense that there would be tracking records. It doesn't seem to be doing much. And Internet Explorer is still crashing every th three seconds. Wait, maybe because it's maybe wait, maybe what I could do is because I'm Chrome. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe I could download spyware on here. That e even though Chrome already is spyware. Wait. The thing is downloading more spyware won't really destroy it. It'll just make it it'll just be bad because why would you do that? <clears throat> okay, I downloaded Chrome it hasn't installed yet probably because it's this is such a slow computer a VM because it's a, it's a VM of course why would I be doing this on my on my real computer and I also just don't also I don't actually use Windows 8 because it's awful so um I also don't use any Windows uh, what of course I have to mention the fact that I use Manjaro at some point in every video from now on so I don't use Windows 8 I honestly don't hate Windows 8. It's okay, honestly. So, yeah. It doesn't seem to be do making very much progress in the installation process. Yeah, kind of, yeah, um, Windows 8. I, I, I kind of assume that if I install Google Chrome, I, I kind of assume that that's going to be a web browser. So, yeah. I don't care... My PC cleaner. What even is the shady program I downloaded? Okay, so let's download something. What what shady software can I download? Um, maybe I can type in um free um free screen saver download Windows 8 no virus. Okay, so a dot life domain. This is the only other website I know that has a dot life domain, and it's not necessarily the most legal of websites. So let's, let's download some screensavers. Are there any ads, though? Yeah, it's an ad, but it's not for um, a fake cleanup software it's an ad for a car it seems okay this sounds more interesting this looks like a toolbar for a browser to me this appears to instead be a download for a, a separate browser you're almost done okay I, I know that I'm almost done Click the but... button in the bottom left to get okay yeah I, okay I get it but just can you just be quiet um, AI voice. Okay, so let's download this atrocity of software. Let's see if it'll run. You know what? I'm going to actually read the licensing agreement. Just because I want to see what it says. Okay, well, there's no legal information here, so I honestly thought it'd be like we are we have the authority to to download all of your inform. This is literally the exact same as the Chrome installer. I literally installed Chrome like ten minutes, like literally under ten minutes ago, so I know what the Chrome installer looks like. Should probably switch to Firefox, like I did in real life. A lot of Internet Explorer windows. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna have to do it. Okay. Uh, sec. Okay. CMD. Uh, okay. There. Okay, that did what I wanted it to do, which is good. Let's go back to the download for this shady web browser I just downloaded.
um, what is an, a website that would have lots of ads? Please stop. Windows 8. Uh, yeah, I know I downloaded that software because I, I... Let's see what the software... Let's see what the shady software has. Okay, so it uses Yahoo for some odd reason. 10 ways to detoxify your body. You know what? Let's open this because there would there's definitely going to be some ads on this. Why is it opening everything in a new window? I don't see any uh any I don't it's not at all the software kind of software I want. Seriously. How does it detect when I click on the X when I hover over the X? Okay. It's not really malicious, so let's download a PC Optimizer uh, software download. It's a legit program. That's a legit and scare quotes program. This is a... Yeah, I don't really understand. I don't really think you'd want to put that in your top 10 most best PC optimizer softwares. So I'm going to download it. It doesn't seem to be doing very much. So PC Optimizer Pro download. Yeah, I want to download the program called PC Optimizer Pro. I'm Or does Yahoo just not scan does not does does not mark ads? Uh, I'm downloading it. Uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Actually, for a moment, let's go back. Because there's a few things I think I saw. Uh, Wimz WinZip is actually a legit program. So, yeah. Let's download whatever this is. Um, Solve IQ. I'm using Windows 8. This is not a very good web browser, and that's pretty obvious. Driverupdate.exe. This sounds like a great software. You know, I'm gonna read this license agreement too. No, I want, I want, I know, I want like the, um, I, I, I want the license agreement that talks about what rights you're given because not just like when you're allowed to sue them. I don't actually know what this is saying, so I'm just going to agree and install. Okay, um, download. It's installing some weird update that doesn't seem to be fixing anything. But I, I seriously don't know at this point. Because I can't download... I'm all, all this all this shady software I'm downloading. It doesn't seem to be very, very dangerous. It, is, it doesn't seem to be doing very much. It just seems to be... It's just very annoying. It's all I've noticed about this shady software I've downloaded. So let's download something a bit more malicious. I know the perfect place where you can download this with this sort of stuff. I'm using Wave Browser as my main browser. I was, at least. I know. Here we go. Let's download stuff from here. I'm gonna, all I know is I'm going to stay away from the networm categories because I don't want to do that. Malware. 
binaries. This is going to contain the actual viruses themselves as opposed to their source code. I'm also probably not going to run Stuxnet because that's not really going to do much. Now, I'm also not going to download any DDoS botnets because that's not really going to do much. This one, this one is iconic. I'm going to get, I, I, just, I just have to download this one. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Okay, so I'm going to download it. Why do you need an integrity checks for malware? Why do we, why why do we have a SHA-1 sum when we're downloading malware because it's malware. You don't really need to verify the integrity of the malware you download. I just want to read the readme just for a second because it probably says something like this malware is to only be used for educational purposes only. So I downloaded this file. Okay, but what is it? Okay, I'm a bit confused about this part because Okay, maybe it's maybe it's GPL'd. But the problem is this isn't software you created. This is random malware you've somehow tracked down but okay so here's some the i love you worm it was yep yeah, like i said it's iconic honestly um where is it i've noticed that the um shady but the shady optimization tools I downloaded don't seem to be making my computer any faster. Extract. Extract. Okay. It extracted itself. It's extracting itself is a better way to say it. Okay, so I think it's extracted, which is good. Although it's not doing anything, which is not as good. It's password protected. What's the password? I think okay, okay I think it's this one. Seriously? Seriously, Windows Defender, you have to just detect the malware like that, just turn turn it off. Turn off Windows Defender. I'm trying to deliberately download malware here. Do you really think that you're going to help me here? And it froze. That's great. Now let's... I don't know what that did, honestly. It crashed. Well, since it crashed, that means that I can't do anything. Seriously, Windows Defender? Do you, it's not, it's not going to do anything. Seriously. Where's Taskman? Taskman is a program in Windows 95 that has nothing to do with Task Manager. Let's try Control Alt Delete. Um. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Uh. Yeah. The actually. No. Don't. Don't. Stop. Stop. Yeah. That's not what we want to do here. Yeah, I accidentally um I pressed control alt delete on my real computer. And okay, my VM crashed. That's great. Let's reopen it. Alright. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into the task manager. It doesn't seem to be working very well, so I'm going to try this. Uh, no. I want to open it in the start screen, not customize it. Okay. Here's Windows Defender. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. 
You know, I'm going to open the apps and see if I can download open it that way. No, that's not doing it. Here, where is Windows Defender? Here. Run as administrator. Okay, um, you know what? I'm just going to reboot. I... Fun warning, this w I probably will get a black desktop background because this image that is my desktop background, I deleted it accidentally. So, yeah. So it's going to restart because that's, for some reason, that that's the way you restart in Windows 8. So it's it's restarting. It's doing something, I guess. Okay, this is bad. Um, we have a problem here, and let's just force reset it. So there's the Windows 8 logo. All right, here we go. If this doesn't boot, I'll honestly be sad because that means that all the time I've spent downloading shady software was all wasted. And guess what? It doesn't seem to be booting very well. Okay, now it booted. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so here we go. Let's go back and down. Let's go back and disable um, my antivirus. Because I'm gonna download this worm from 2001 that probably isn't even, that probably won't even do anything on Windows 8. It's open task manager. This is a preemptive measure. Okay. So let's disable. Um, antivirus, it's disabled now. That's good. Let's open Google Chrome and figure out where I downloaded the I Love You Worm 2. If you, please, if you don't know what that is, just Google it, please. It's, it's actually quite interesting. So here's the um, I Love You Worm, which I store in this zip file for some reason. Okay. Here's the zip file, and let's extract it all in that folder and let's the password is infected uh, no, and the password is infected um, replace the files okay so now so what is this text document okay this is a description of the worm let's see what it does so it is a malicious VB script program which spreads in a number of ways yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay, okay, this is just information about the worm. It's not the worm itself, though. And did it crash? No. What is this text document? It's more information about the worm, okay. And what's this zip file? What is F secure antivirus information? It doesn't sound like it would be very useful for what I'm trying to do. I'm just going to run it. No, I want to run this malware, seriously. I don't know what it did. It seems to have infected all the TXT files on the computer, but I don't know what it's actually doing, honestly. Maybe Task Manager might be useful here. What's an action, what's an action center? Yeah, no, I, I disabled Windows Defender on purpose. Okay, it's using my disk. Um, that's the VB script. I don't actually know what it's doing, honestly, though, but it's clearly doing something. 
Okay, let's download a rogue antivirus to see if I, that can fix it. Here we go. Let's download it. Okay, my name is gonna be uh uh no. My email is gonna be no at no dot no. It's gonna be a Norwegian site. Contact details. How do I fit this all in one field? And location, um, Namibia. That's going to be my country. There, let's download it. So what is it doing? So the CPU usage. Let's take a look at what's using my CPU. What is software reporter tool? And also at the same time, it seems like Wave Browser is running in the background, even though it's doing absolutely nothing. So I wanted, I just, okay, download Protegent. And also just for fun, just, um, okay, I'm not going to actually do what I was going to do. Actually, I will. So the rogue antivirus is taking a while to download, and it doesn't seem to be doing much. So I'm going to download some more viruses. I know another very good repository to download viruses. Here we go. So, okay, so the rogue antivirus finished downloading. But what, I, but what I'm going to go to is a, an amazing repository that has a bunch of malware. So let's open, let's just really quickly just download this um, weird antivirus software I just downloaded. Windows Vista, I'm using Windows 8, so no. You install, let's not, so read Sam. That reads quite similar to uninstall, which is probably what I'll do to this software. PC Cleaner is actually kind of annoying at this point. I mean, I knew it was annoying from the start, which is why I downloaded it, but who cares. So here's the malware repository, which doesn't seem to be working. It kind of makes sense that I find harmful programs on this website because that's what I'm on this website for. So here are some malware, but that's not exactly the kind of malware I'm going to get here. So why not some Trojans? SimbaOS? I didn't even know SimbaOS had anyone writing malware for it because almost no one uses it. Considering the fact that it was made for a, an 80 year, a 40-year-old a, a antivirus software, a 40-year-old computer. Let's open this rogue antivirus and do a scan. But I probably should download some more malware. So let's open this and run it. Yeah. So I downloaded something. It found a threat. My clean PC. Let's open it just really quick. No, I don't want to open VirtualBox. I want to open my clean PC. So it quarantined it. You're ignoring all the other malware I've installed on this computer. So yeah. Okay, let's open this cursed software now what 
an older version of the cursed software then. Doesn't work. Okay, what about this oldest version of the cursed software? It doesn't work. Kind of makes sense because that's not exactly what we came on this video for. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go back here and download some more nonsense that I can that'll destroy this. Let's download a virus because um, a Trojan isn't really going to do much. I don't think a boot kit will really help what we're trying to do here, so no. Math test is the name of a virus. That sounds slightly odd. Slightly strange, you could say. Melissa, that's uh, not exactly the kind of virus you'd want to have on this channel. Win32. This is going to be interesting. CIH. Um... Yeah, I don't really think you can run CIH on Windows 8. And I don't think CIH Killer really counts as a virus because it's it literally exists to remove a virus. So let's networm. Don't download anything there because that might actually cause some physical damage. Email worms, you're probably not going to find anything meaningful there. Viewer made malware. There might be some cool stuff here. Um Okay. You know, I'm going to open Bonzi Buddy just one more time just to see if, it, if this will actually work. No. So, you know what? I just want to see. I want to figure out something, okay? To do that some way that without deleting files, <clears throat> I can ruin this computer, okay? So, maybe um, I could try downloading something. I wait. I honestly don't can't think of any malware that'll really break it. So I'm gonna download this. I'm not gonna download memes because it's really been overdone. So, and I feel like if I download memes, I know it's dangerous. That's why I want to download it. So keep the dangerous file. That's why I want to download it. So it's a okay. Extract it so I can rename it. And uh, download and rename it um, to dot exe, and let's run it. What is that icon? Yep, that's a toaster. Let's run it now. Requires JRE 1.0. Okay, good to download it. I don't, okay, you know what? I'm just going to let it download all the adware that it generally installs. Under the open source general public license license. Okay, so download. Okay, I don't want to download updated version of Protegent. Protegent. So I downloaded Java. So now it's going to download Java. It's probably going to, it's at some point, probably going to prompt me to download some adware. And I'm going to, of course, accept the adware download. Okay, I don't care, PC Cleaner. I don't even know what this software is. Because it's not exactly a very good software to have installed on your computer. So I've downloaded Java, and it didn't prompt me to ask to download adware, which is... 
honestly kind of surprising because it usually asks me to download adware so let's open a pc toaster now this app cannot be used on windows 8.1 oh um okay um why are you that's not exactly the partition i'd want you to have open okay that's not very good to do that so it seemed to have deleted the entirety of my system reserved partition which is not exactly the kind of thing you'd want to happen to your computer um you know what? let's just see if bonzi buddy will run now still no um you know what? let's also just download memes just just for fun i think i think i think it's just time to do that Although eventually it will eject. The, okay, um, it kills lsass.exe. Good to know. But eventually it's gonna do the whole um. Quick download memes. Oh. Yep, it did. It did. It did what I knew it would do. It ejected. So it, so it ejected the C drive, which is not exactly the kind of thing you want to do. The start screen still ex exists, but you can't open anything in it. Um, SkyDrive, for example, it's just no Chrome, literally nothing opens, which is not honestly not very surprising. With the exception of Notepad, which I think I think it's just open because it never actually closed. So I close it, and now it's never going to open again. Okay, here we go. It doesn't. I don't. What is it doing? Honestly, turn on Windows Security Center. Well, I mean, I literally. Okay, so it restarted for some reason. Oh, it's because it killed LSASS. So, all right, I did it. I downloaded malware on um, Windows 8.1. So that one guy in the comments of the 8.1 video said that you're supposed to destroy it. Um, you know what, I should probably go to my, my original 8.1 video just to see um, if that was actually even a real comment. Because I think it may have been actually been on a different video. But destroying... Okay, of course it crashed because it's my computer and it's not a very good computer. Maybe it's on Chromium I can find it. I'm going to power it off. And actually, I'm going to save the machine state just... Well, I want to tell you that it didn't just over at the MBR, it also over at the boot sector, so that means it's going to be pretty hard to fix. I forgot I uninstalled Chromium because it was taking up space on my hard disk. If that's the case, I know one emergency option. It doesn't have links. I don't have an exclamation mark at the end of the title. I put it, I put destroying in scare quotes because why not? Let's see, are there any comments? This is video. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure at some point there was a comment on the video. So basically, I destroyed it in a slightly modified way here. So congratulations, I have officially not destroyed it by just deleting random files. I did something that isn't really much better than that. But I just want to do one last thing, okay? There it is.